Yes, I'm dating. Yeah. How? Oh, when is the way the wedding? Mm-hmm. We don't know yet. You know, you have to take your time first. You don't rush. Yes. Know the person well. Like we, we can't know. Yeah, hello guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Buita Junior. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. And in case you are watching for the first time, kindly consider subscribing and turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload any video, you can be getting notifications. So guys, today I'm coming live and we are from Nyabohans village as used to be usual sorry yeah so today i uh, privileged to meet uh, Diana Kemi I know so many of you know Diana Kemi Diana Kemi is a famous youtuber yeah so today I just want to meet her we have a chat uh, she can advise me because uh, she has been in the industry for quite some time yeah and uh, also i'll be asking her about relationships <laughs> because you know maybe we, some of you knows that uh, she's dating a uh, brundian yeah guys so that's what i'll be asking her so guys as you can also see this is the nipia grass you can see you know it's good sometimes when you have cows you can plant nipia grass so that you can be feeding your livestock uh, and also you can see this maize are doing well yeah since the it was hit by the hailstone but uh, as i can see they're doing very nice yeah i can see even they were trying to do we weeding yeah so guys kindly tell me what you think about this video yeah and also i always i promise to be pro giving you the amazing contents so guys come with me so that you can go and have a a chat yeah finally guys she's here she can introduce herself yes hi guys my name is diana kemi from East Africa, Kenya, guys, welcome back to Muita Junior's channel. I'm really happy and glad to be at Muita Junior's channel. And uh, guys, welcome back once again. And remember to watch this video up to the end so that you can, you know, enjoy, learn one to one to two, three things. And uh, I hope you you are going to, you know, have some fun. And also, if you haven't subscribed at my channel at Diana Kemi kindly consider doing so guys and guys remember we love you so so much and i have my sister beside me wow hello guys welcome to Junior's youtube channel my name is nara, joy underscore nara uh, <laughs> <laughs> no problem joy yeah. underscore nara yeah wow um, you, say anything, anything. Kindly consider subscribing to his channel and we'll be grateful. Yeah, you yeah, can guys. also tell them to subscribe to your channel. Yeah, oh, you don't need a subscriber. <laughs> I yeah, guys, tell she's them. Still new. Yes. I think you'll understand that, guys. So she's trying, you know, to yeah. build her confidence slowly by slowly. But I think with the time, she's gonna be perfect. Yeah, you know, uh, okay, with, even me when I was uh, starting a YouTube channel, mm. yeah, at least uh, you have that courage. Courage, yeah. With me even holding a camera, it was hectic to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think uh, after maybe a week, mm -hmm. you Absolutely. will be a pro. Okay. How many videos have you uploaded so far? One, but still I'm going to do it because I've started yesterday. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you have that courage. Wow. Maybe you can it's have. We can sit down, or you need chairs. No. Content creators don't need chairs. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yes guys uh, okay Kimi how are you I'm very fine hey. what about you I'm fine yeah a long time long time no see <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah you know I think it is your first time to appear in my channel yeah yeah because the other time uh, I was to meet you at uh, Cloud Joseph's place but uh, you are kind of busy so we didn't make it yeah otherwise uh when did you come from Mombasa? I saw you in Mombasa. Mm, I came from Mombasa like uh, I think two weeks have passed. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Mombasa was good though. I wanted to stay longer, but because of you know my health problems. Yes. I just rushed back to fix it because I couldn't stay like you know for many days without uploading. So yeah. I had to rush back and fix it yes. because there at Mombasa I couldn't get the spare part of that phone. So they suggested uh, for me, I go for it in Nairobi. Uh, I couldn't miss it in Nairobi because Nairobi has so many things. So I got it again and I'm back again, guys. Okay. Yeah, but I could have stayed longer because it was nice being there. It's nice to be in a new place. It's nice to change a new environment. And wow, I just wanted to stay longer and you know, stay in the ocean waters. <laughs> <laughs> and enjoy yeah but the badness Mombasa is really hot yeah i know it's because hot. we were there mm -hmm. i think uh uh in the i think it is a month now yeah yeah we went there for a vacation mm -hmm. yeah and we enjoyed guys <laughs> yeah. yeah so so far how is your channel my channel i can't complain it's it's not it's doing good yes and uh so far i don't think if i can really count them as challenges and uh, for me it's like stepping stepping barriers I have a <laughs> <laughs> like it's just you know stepping stone it is a stepping stone yeah it's a stepping stone yeah that's <laughs> yeah so i can't really complain so much but i'm i'm, I'm, I'm pushing yes yes trying to you know to make it improve yeah but it's growing yeah it's growing thank you so much and in advice you can give us me and uh joy okay. <laughs> because you know we are the upcoming youtubers so we yeah. need uh, some advice uh, because i'm still like you yes <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm not i'm not so, I, I could, uh, okay, let's push on, like we don't give up, yes. we don't look at the views, you know sometimes uh, views can be discouraging when you get maybe uh, only 20 views, don't get discouraged, just do your thing with passion and everything with yeah, sure. like do your thing, be real, be honest. Yeah, and also, uh, also work smart. Yeah, and put good first. Yeah, not harder. Not harder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but by the way, yeah. By the way, if you consider views, I think you can uh, get discouraged. You get discouraged easily because yeah. uh, there, is, there is a time uh, there is a time I was getting like uh, five views. Mm in 12 hours then i was like hey what am i doing until you ask yourself yes i was this. almost giving giving up but uh margin nasto told me you keep on pushing yes then uh i continued and then at least uh, nowadays i have views and uh i got monetized wow. so yeah so this advice was for joy yeah, when you are starting <laughs> yes it's not that easy yeah it's not easy but with time it will improve yes. and don't give up to look at the you know, those views and negative comments and everything just work on the positive part and everything you know a journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step yes so everything is step by step actually youtube is step by step and it yeah. never ends step by step today you are uh, maybe for example 25 subscribers or yes. six subscribers Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it's 
it's also a beautiful platform where you get to know people where you get to connect with people where you get to learn every day like you learn every day yes yes yeah so give me a, uh, i saw you when you were going to mombasa you boarded uh, a plane hey yeah. how was the experience yeah, the experience was <laughs> nice both excited and emotional because being the first time and you know it's something which I had I'd really wanted ever since I was a small kid yes yeah so uh, boarding it it was like for me it was like a dream come true <laughs> I never thought at one point for sure yes I'll board one I'll board one even for the best <laughs> 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 you just sit like this, even you have you sat comfortably. Maybe you can plan. You have landed already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So how many minutes did you took to Mombasa? I think it took, if it's not, uh, it didn't actually take one hour. No? Yeah, Very short time. Yeah, I think it's 45, 45 minutes. minutes yeah? yeah, 45 minutes. Yeah. Very short. Like you're just... <laughs> Ding, ding, you have arrived. They wanted it to be long. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> yeah, so oh, that's the feeling. Ah, yes. the feeling was awesome. You just look outside. Mm. Uh, inside, yeah, you can think you're just inside a bus. Yes. But when you look outside, then, wow, you just see the clouds floating on you know, the air. That white and blue yes. scenery is so beautiful. And uh, actually, for me, I recorded it from when we started. Up, up to, to the end. Up to the end. I was just like this even the person who was <laughs> taking some notes around was wondering, yeah, yeah. this girl it seems it's her first time. Yes. I, so I, I the whole trip I was just recording. <laughs> I was just recording. Who's but there? I was excited about it. I wanted it to be memorable. Wow. Yes. Is there bumps? Like uh, when you are <laughs> Yeah, trapped? there's something like bumps, especially those clouds, I don't know what happens. Like, I don't know if it's bumps, but there's something that you know the plane always shakes Shake. like turbulence. There's a name, I think it's turbulence. You know, I've never voted one, so oh. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever bought one? There's, some, yeah, there, there's something I don't know, they call it turbulence. You find the aeroplanes like it's shaking like this. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, guys, maybe in the comment section you, you can, can tell, tell us, us how do we call them because I've never bought that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, do uh, do planes have a road, a specific road? I think they have a specific line which we follow. Yes. Like, you know, a little bit goes straight. Yes. It doesn't go like this. So, there's a certain line which they follow because yeah, if they mix them up, yes. some aeroplanes can go. You know, I thought there is no something like bumps when you are, you know. Okay, not road bumps, not you, yeah. but there's a, there's a way, I don't know if it's the wind, turbulence, there's something which you know, shakes, shakes yes. it sometimes. Yes. Yeah. How did you feel? When it was shaking? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I was just praying to God, God, let this not be the last thing. You know, oh. when, you're, when you know that aeroplanes accident usually kill everybody. Kill everybody. Yes. Like it's rare people to survive. You yeah, just say, sure. God, let this not be. <laughs> when it's just shaky. Yeah. So when I was looking around, I was seeing people are, are not really shocked. Yeah. Um, but I'm sure it's because they had already boarded it earlier. Yes. So at least they are used to it. So for me, I was like, hey, I hope everything is fine. 
<laughs> you know <laughs> because you know when it lifts itself up like this yes at first you tend to go like this first yeah it moves like it doesn't just move like this straight yeah. slowly Simply by slowly, slowly by slowly until it's on top now yeah yeah and then when it goes down it goes down yes. again it takes you know that small small you know pace moving downwards moving downwards yeah you know there's a guy told me that uh, when it's uh when it it's taking off mm -hmm. and uh, landing, mm -hmm. there's there a certain is, way yeah, you feel yes. like puking. Yes, it's true. it's true. You feel there's a certain it's, feeling you feel. Yeah, yeah. You know I can explain it, but you feel like you know puking like this. Oh, yeah. I felt it actually. <sighs> yeah, though I, I really don't. <laughs> yeah, but I hope it. I hope it is not scary. Yeah, it's it's not scary. It's just maybe scary for first timers. Yes. Yeah, like me that time. Yeah, it was a little bit scary. But when you are on top, it's yes. just smooth, smooth until you can't know if you are moving. You just hear the sounds from outside. That so day. it's like uh, being in in a lift. Mm -hmm. Have you ever used one? A lift. A lift. Yes. Yeah. A lift. Now it's when it's going up. That's, yeah. That's the kind of. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but it was a nice experience. People of Mombasa actually are friendly. Yeah, most of them, not all, but most. Like you can ask maybe someone direction and he can just leave the, what he's doing, he or she's doing, and take you up to that point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like they don't have any hurry. I saw that. Yeah. You feel like this is yeah, 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 because I felt I didn't have enough of it. <laughs> <laughs> I think the beach, or... yeah, the beach also, yeah, the beach, by the way, you can even take six hours, imagine, in water, and you don't realize yeah. the six hours are Even fast. eight hours. Yeah, you can't realize. Like, it's so relaxing. Yeah. So good. And, you know, the way it's hot, now when you are in, in the water, you feel relieved. Yes. Yeah. But it was a good experience. Okay, I've ever gone to Mombasa, but when I was a little kid, oh. so I didn't really enjoy it. And I went one day. We traveled that night. <laughs> then the following day you came back. You, I came back. You see, <laughs> when I, I didn't have any experience. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's why it's this one is, is um, was like it's like an experience in now way. <laughs> don't risk just yeah just take floaters or just swim near the shores. Also don't even how to How about the beach boys? The beach boys? <laughs> okay, sometimes when you're too soft for them they can take advantage. Yes. Guns, but they are not really bad I think. They are bad. <laughs> but they are teaching people how to swim. No. Yeah. That's a lot of them. But, uh, of them are bad, yeah? but they, they don't teach men how to swim. They teach they ladies. They always teach ladies. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I think we should ask them. Because they are always teaching ladies. Yes. Why? Okay. I think for girls, like, for me, let's say for me, it's easy to teach her, but your gender is different. Like, it's, like, it's kind of weird. Yeah, but you know, when they are teaching you, they take you to on a, to a deep end. Mm. Yes. To like to get you to water. <laughs> 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 they, are they are very bad. Some are bad. They are very and bad. Some are not that bad. That's yeah, when we were there, yeah. uh, they are bad. You saw them yeah. taking advantage yeah, of some. They were taking advantage of you know, some babies from the village. From the village because we, yes, yeah, you know when you go there and someone tells you that, hey, come on, you, you, go, you, you go thinking that they are going to get yeah, the business they, they always have hidden agenda. Yeah, so that is it, guys. So, uh, hey, Kimi, are you dating?
because I've I've been seeing something on uh, huh? social media mm -hmm. to be specific on YouTube. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, I'm dating. Yeah. Oh, when is the way, the wedding? We don't know yet. You know, you have to take your time first. You don't rush. Yes. Know the person well. Like we, we can't know. Okay, it's different with people, but for me, I I don't rush to things fast. You yes. Take your time. Don't rush fast. Uh, maybe maybe it will be there. God willing, but you know, we don't rush it. We just take our time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sorry guys. Yeah. <laughs> Someone was calling me. Yeah, so you you told me that you have to take time. Yeah, take your time knowing the person. Not only okay. me, but... Okay, how long can someone take, take uh, for <laughs> he or she to get married? It depends on an, on an individual. You know, there are some people who can take only one weekend. Hey, but one week is not enough. <laughs> How many can you take? It's depend. The man. Yeah, you know there's so, a man who you know, are so uh, you know, I may come today and show you some good love mm -hmm. and uh, you love me so much. And then uh, maybe after a week we get married. Mm -hmm. And then from there, that's when you will see my true, true colors. colors. Yeah, <laughs> what will you do? By, by some, they even take, uh, they like in a relationship. Yes. For example, like five years, but when they get married, the other partner. Yes. So, like, I don't think. It I, depends on it. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think so. But one week is too short. Yeah, yeah one week is too short. One week is too short. <laughs> okay, well, for me, I know you know the uh, relationship has, so, has uh, three stages. You know, stage one. Is knowing each other, yeah, knowing yeah, sure. each other. Yes. Uh, at first, people tend to hide their, you know, yeah. the bad character first. Yeah, sure. Because they want to impress you first, so that you can enter the box. Yeah. 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 So you can't see the bad side of the other. Yeah. So when you get into now relationship now deep deep deep. Yes. Is now you get to learn. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, you get to learn the person's behavior and character and everything. Yes. And then uh, stage uh, three uh, is when now you have decided, yes, you know the person very well. Now you decide whether to take the relationship to another level yeah. or just to, you know, maybe leave it or just, you know, whatever you can decide on it. So it has three stages, which which is good to pass through it. Don't rush, guys. Uh, you know, take things slowly. Take wow. your time, yeah, so that you don't regret later. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Hope... But if you find someone good, yes. yeah, don't hesitate. <laughs> holding yourself back. Take that person. If you, you have also, <laughs> even if someone is very beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Even if she's an <laughs> angel, mm -hmm. you have to take time. Yeah, take some time. Don't yeah. Rush. So I would... know the person. Yes. Know the history of this person. Yes. Know there are some people who can be nice for some time yeah or have some cases maybe he's yeah. a serial killer and you don't know <laughs> yeah yeah sure there's some people who have lived with serial killers and they don't know they've just realized later yeah so many stories and everything like yet to learn the person yeah and <sighs> after that decide whether you can take it to another level yeah or leave it are you dating <laughs> Have you ever dated? Yeah. Oh, so uh, you are getting that the advice. <laughs> are you ready to date? Oh, good. Just like that, you Yeah, no pressure. Hey. Okay, give me. How I'm do you? Still, yeah. Yeah. How old are you? Me. Nineteen. Yeah. You are very young. You, you should not even be dating at the moment. <laughs> yeah, Why? I think uh, you, could, you could have started dating when you were at least 20, 20 21. No, she's above 18. Yes, 18. No, 18, yeah. you are still young. No, 18. You know what? Uh, kids do eat uh, sifted food, mm -hmm. yeah, which makes them 
to grow very fast yeah so they they become mature when they are 22 25 oh, really? yes. Not really. <laughs> you can get a, a, a 19 year old or 20 who is mature unless for, uh, if she's from the village <laughs> but in the city hey, no <laughs> that one is another debate yes <laughs> <laughs> so Kevin, how do you feel yeah. dating a man from outside your country it's good it's good to learn you know other things yes not even only in Africa, maybe if you are dating a Chinese, maybe, you know. yes, or if you, are, you have an interracial marriage, yes, it's good at least also to you know, experience something new, learn from their cultures, also, yeah, like be flexible, don't choose, don't be too choosy, yeah, sure. Yeah, I know people have their own preferences, yeah, like just be flexible, embrace changes, yeah, yeah. And wow. I think a, a person from different country doesn't really matter. I think it's an individual themselves. Yeah, sure. Yeah. But how did you meet? All the way from Uganda, Rwanda. Burundi, Burundi or Rwanda? Burundi. Burundi. To Kenya. Yeah. Uh, how we met? Hey, how did you meet the Burundian travel? You know, for him, he has lived in Kenya for quite some time. Okay. So at least he's more is much conversant with yes. uh, Kenya. Yes. Yeah, like you can think he's just a citizen in Kenya, you know. It's like uh, he has to <laughs> to he has dual citizenship. Yeah. So there was no much, you know, things to complicate them. And uh, um, okay, for me the first time I saw them, yes. they were two. Yes. With this brother Cloud. Yes. I saw them first at D Mwango's place. Yeah. That was the first time I saw them. Yes. But I really didn't know them. They were visitors. Yeah, because the home usually receives so many visitors at yeah. that time. So many people used to come and go, come and go. So for them they had come and they had been uh, you know told to wait for some to wait for to wait a bit. Yes. Uh, and um, so while they were seated there near the kitchen where I was making some <laughs> bananas, I was peeling <laughs> some, bananas, some bananas. Yeah, by that time I wasn't really a YouTuber, so yes. I was trying to record a video. So I didn't really know how to you know, make videos yes. by then. So when uh, they were when they were seated there, yes. as I was peeling the bananas i asked one of them to hold for me the the phone so that i can rec record myself feeling the bananas yes so i was just feeling the bananas while i was quiet <laughs> i don't know if it's cloud who i gave or uh, or Burundian. yes i don't remember <laughs> yeah but one of them maybe i'll confirm <laughs> 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 one of them so so as I as I was feeling, yes. they told me, ah, you shouldn't keep quiet like this. Yeah. You know, at least Talk. say say something. Yes. Yeah. Like how how will your audience know what you are, you are doing? doing? Yeah. Say something or even you know explain to them this is this. This is what I was doing. Yeah, because you for me I was clean. Yes. So I, after after that. Yes. They told me that you, even you can sing a song. You don't have to be, you know, so quiet like this. Because I was a quiet person. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So from there, I recorded that video, mm -hmm. and I just thank them. They went. So later, when I'm meeting them, it's when they reminded me, "You don't know us." Yes. <laughs> I told them, "You know, for I usually see you in videos." Yeah. yeah, but I really don't know you much. They reminded me. You don't remember the guys who came, came when you were camera. playing bananas when you <laughs> didn't know even how to record? Yeah. So that's when I remembered them like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the the following day we were we were doing you know some collaboration with other YouTubers, making videos. Yes. Um. So time went by. It was already evening, so I had to go home. Yes. I hadn't made the video because there are so many of them. So for me, I left for those 
who are going far sometimes so that videos. they can do it here. Yeah. Yes. And uh, mine, I didn't make it. So yes. I I went back home. I told them we'll meet tomorrow. I told them we we'll yes. meet tomorrow. So the following day, he called me. He told me, you know, he knows I'm a village girl. Yes. So he wanted to make village videos. Yes. Yeah. So he contacted me, told me, I want to come to your village and we make some videos. videos. Yeah. So that's when we started now. <laughs> wow, that's how it started. Yeah. Wow. But they were good guys because they helped me. Yes. Yeah. They taught you something. Yeah. Because they, they were kind. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so that's that's how we, we knew each other. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So far. Mm -hmm. eh? And her? how do you feel like dating someone from outside Kenya? I, I don't feel my any difference because it's, <laughs> it's like it So just, men are the same. Or yeah. not? <laughs> 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 you know, you like we are all human, yeah? Yes, sure. Like there's no much difference. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But there is not like a feeling. Yeah. Oh, a feeling, like yeah. 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 Maybe not excitement, maybe the cultures yes. be different from ours, a little bit, some cultures. Yes. Yeah, I think only that the different. But we, for a person, no, I think they, they are the same. Okay. Yeah. You know, different countries have different cultures. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So far, how is the relationship fair? So we might we might have a wedding very soon. Yeah. For us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how can you advise someone who wants to date or someone who is dating? Okay. Because at least you know now you have an experience. In, in hot seats. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For those for those who are. Who want to date? Mm -hmm. uh, those who still are dating. Mm, for those who want to date. Yes. Okay, I'm not really a relationship expert. Yes. But uh, for the little, you know, knowledge at least I have. Yes. If you want to date, just go ahead. Like follow your heart. Yes. Yeah. Don't follow other people's opinions and anything. Yes. Do what makes you happy. So. Follow your heart. Do it. Don't do it because of peer pressure or anything. Do it because you like it. Yes. Yeah. And also for those who are in relationship, I yes. just uh, really, you know, you do the right thing. Yeah. To be loyal. Yeah, loyal, all that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> like be a good person. Do you? Why are you saying loyal? Being loyal. Yeah, most men are loyal. So it seems you are single because it's, you are cheated. No. <laughs> why, are you, why are you single, if I may ask? Okay. My first relationship did not work, so I don't feel like starting another one. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Are you the one who broke someone's heart, or he's the one? Give that question. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the one or secret agenda. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that is it, guys. Maybe unless you have a a question to ask Kemi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any, <laughs> any. How do you feel like being a villager? A villager? Yeah. It's good, you know. Before people used to get ashamed of being village girls, being called village girls. Mm. Yeah. But right now, it's good, and I'm really proud of it because village, village is a good place. Village is a good place, especially you know, if you like living free life. Yes. Village is the best. Yeah. And uh, also, it's not really expensive to live in the village. Yeah, you can plant your own things at the backyard, yes. tomatoes, vegetables, get your green things just direct from the 
that is where they have been uh, put into fridge for a long time or anything just so fresh village has fresh air guys even right here trees are just yes swaying. yeah you can and see guys air. yes no noise no congestion no sewage passing you know it's yeah. fresh and um, i think village is more organic and it's it's a good place yeah it's a peaceful place they you know there is somewhere where i read if you want maybe 50 percent of your problems to be solved yes <laughs> you'll get out of the city and come to the village yeah sure yeah but again it depends on you know there's some people who are uh, comfortable in the cities yeah, but we should have money, for me, enough money, enough money for you cities. to be comfortable in the city. Yeah, yes. because in the cities, most people pay rent. Yes, most people, uh, even uh, uh, throwing away your garbage, you need money. Yes, yeah. you pay. You pay. <laughs> water, you pay. Yes. Well, in the village, we go and fetch water in the river. Or yes, in, in the boreholes. Bo bo there is some taps, just you know community taps yes there are so many places you can get water freely clean water not treated water guys clean yes clean water. and natural natural yes yeah so for me i like village so when you told to choose between the city and the village should you choose? i'll choose the village definitely why how uh, about you me. Because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay, for me i think um, okay leaving the village and the city i'm just okay yeah, flexible. for uh, me i'm okay. comfortable yeah. in the village even me i'm very comfortable in the village yeah even when i i'll start traveling mm -hmm. i'll be going to the villages yes that's where i'll be going mm -hmm. yeah cities we go once once yeah maybe you go to for a vacation mm -hmm. so sometimes. have you ever gone to burin this is burin yes yeah. burin yeah, I have gone there. How is the feeling? So you already know the parents? Yeah. You already know the parents? Yeah, okay. I know. Yeah, hey, I know. guys. We have good family. We have, we have a wedding very soon. Hey! <laughs> so, in, introduction has already been done. Yeah. Wow, wow, congratulations. So now we are waiting for the engagement ring. And yeah, maybe you pray for us. Yeah, we put everything to God, yeah? <laughs> yes. <laughs> now how are people there? Yeah? The people of are they friendly or Yeah, they are friendly, especially when they realize you come from a different country. Yes. They are so, so welcome. They treat you nicely. Very nice. And uh also you know for them they they speak French and uh Kirundi itself. They don't speak oh. in English or Swedish. Yeah. So when when you speak in English they just know you are from um, all this way, yes, we are from different countries, yeah, yeah. How do they dress? Yes, dressing, dressing yeah. code, maybe dressing. Most women there wear kitenges, wow, yeah, kitenges. short or long, 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 Very long. long. Like they cover from top to down. And for big. them, this uh, the hips, yes, or the knees that, that is private part, wow, yeah. You cover yourself well. everything yeah which is decent yeah that is good <laughs> yeah, it is decent. so that's why you, you are even dressing like uh now for me a even before, girl. before i used to dress like this it has <laughs> not really changed <laughs> <laughs> yeah this kid i had even before yes yeah it's not like that like for me i'm just like this uh what about food food also is good um Oh, and it's cooked kind of differently. Yes. Because they they mix together, especially the vegetables, the meat, or they they mix them together to make some stew. Yes. Then they add it on top, and they eat together in one plate. Wow. Yeah. That simplifies unity. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, what is the staple staple food? Mm, staple, staple food. food. So it was rice, oh. cassava, rice and cassava mostly. Rice and cassava, yeah. Uh, ugali made from cassava mostly. Oh, they Even don't it's have... being sold. Ugali? Yeah, it's wrapped in banana leaves like yeah. this. Yes. And sold in Nissan. 
made from cassava and it's good you can eat in without in stew. Matatus. yeah you can eat without stew like that it's, it's ugali nice. and cassava okay. ugali made from cassava okay yeah cassava ugali so the so you can eat without uh, vegetable yeah and it tastes how nice. like that imagine the taste is different from the normal ugali But we also have uh, cassavas here and we have the brown ugali but ugali made from cassava. Yes. And it's made in a different way until Yes, you know. but I I think you can't uh, it's you not can't It's the same like theirs. You can't eat ugali plain. You can. You a plain ugali. Now you see for them you yes. can because it has a different taste and it doesn't choke you. You know when you eat plain ugali okay. it doesn't choke. Okay. Yeah, is it soft or It's soft and also it's not sticky. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you know you can just chew it like that, Unless like a snack. They, yeah, I think uh, maybe they have something that they, they add. add. Yeah, yeah, maybe. But they make it so nice, and you can just eat it like that. You know, for me at first yes. when I saw them uh, wrapping the ugali, yeah, you were shocked. Yeah, I was shocked because there were some kids who had arranged it on a a basket, that yeah. flat basket. Yeah. So they had arranged them in banana. Yes. It's like that. For me, I'd never seen such kind of thing. <laughs> Even me, yeah. Yeah, so I was asking, what's inside there? They told me it's from cassava. I was like, eh, how comes they sell that? You know, you expect they sell sweets, yes. water, drop, because those things are not really there. So when they sell like that, yes. actually they sell organic things. Yeah. You see, that's organic. Yeah, that's, yeah. There's no refined sugar inside. There's no... Everything just pure natural. Yeah. Yeah. So they were selling it, and uh, you 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 just take it with the banana leaves and yes. you just chew it slowly as you. <laughs> hey. <laughs> as you. Hey, that life is hard. Yeah. So like it's kind of different, but for them, yes, they are more into organic things. Even yeah. farms, they really don't use fertilizers. Yeah, I also like organic food. Yeah. Yeah. When you live there, I think yeah. you live long because the food. <laughs> yeah. Is, you know what you eat also uh, in, um, affects your lifespan. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, mostly if you eat a lot of chemicals. Fine yeah. sugars, yes. chemicals, the ones which we take in. Yeah. And, yeah. But for them, it's just pure organic. organic. If you want organic things, just to go there. To brew. You will enjoy everything organic. Spices organic. Why? There are not those spices. They don't really use much of the spices. The ones which have been made from factories, you know, and packed. Yeah. No, from farm direct. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And their food was nice. Actually, I like their food. It was very nice. At first, I didn't like the way it looked, but when I tasted, yes. My goodness, it was just. It was good. very nice. It was good. I came back when I did. <laughs> last words before we end the video thank you Kimmy. yes guys thank you for watching up to this point hope you enjoyed and learned some things and if you have any questions kindly let us know and our opinions and all opinions are welcome guys and thank you so much for watching up to this point 